And here we go, guys. Here we go with the first game. Okay, F5. We need to do this when the re the dashboard going cuckoo. But we don't have that dashboard here. I have to talk with Jeanette to, to make it available for this scene as well. Anyway, I'm assuming... Yeah, assumed right. Mayans War. Both players going Mayans, no surprise here. The map is looking good for Chris. Yeah, he has inside forest uh, regarding this because let's see the boars. Where are the boars, man? Hassan's boars are outside his walls. Where, where, where are Chris bo uh, boars? Chris? Outside his front gates. Ah, okay. Yeah. So both players with boars outside. Yeah. Hassan already bringing the first boar. The second one, he, he will use the same hole. Nice. And Hassan, well, he also has okayish wood. But wood, it's, it's better for... Oh, it's not very good wood, I don't think, for Hassan at all. No, 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 it's... W where he where he made the lumber camp? I said yeah. okay, -ish, okay. -ish. Yeah, but that's his only one, though, isn't it? Yeah, true. To Chris true. has got like two or three decent wood spots inside yeah. and safe. You're right. Especially the back ones, really nice and safe with the castle Much and the, gun, the gold there as well. Yeah, yeah. Gold, it's safe, indeed, super safe. I would, I would say, but the other golds for for Chris. Outside the walls, going for the second boar, Chris, okay, and using the fatty to keep the gate open. <laughs> using the fatty. <laughs> yeah, man, using the fatty. Okay. So, where he will go for, for, for wood? Well, I imagine he will go to that four. Oh, but check it out, man. Chris, 22 population and up to feudal age. While Hassan 23, yeah, yeah. one more villager, he didn't click yet, so he will go with 24. Yeah. Whoa, interesting. Twenty-four. Hassan's going to be much slower. Mm -hmm. Depends how aggressive Chris is. If Chris is aggressive in this map now, this, and I know it's not so straightforward aggression. Because this is all, yeah, this is also what I'm thinking. I mean, what's what's his plan? Because usually in this map, you don't go like super fast, right? Uh, especially with walls, with unless uh. you you want to be really aggressive early in the game. Otherwise, like ninety percent of the times in, in this in this map. Uh, Players going for, for safe, mini boom, first some raidings with plumed archers, obviously, and after that, you know, some... Yeah. But well, he's look got, at Chris, man. He's got... He's, he hasn't even scouted anything yet, so he has got no idea what Hassan's map is like. Yeah, now, now he has the, the scouts around, around yeah, his scouts walls. Scouts going now. Yeah, closer to his walls. And Hassan, yeah, with 24 up. There you go. He is up building the market and the blacksmith. Uh, we have Chris yeah, dropping the food now and he's up. 24 pop. Four villagers on stone. Uh, uh, sorry, on gold. And I see now he's moving four villagers on stone as well. Okay, five even. Yeah, five villagers on stone. I don't know, I'm... I'm a bit confused. What's the plan for him? Why? Why so fast? Anyway, 24, 25 population Hassan and up. He will be later with uh, 16, 16, 32 seconds. Whoa. It is quite some difference. Anyway, Chris is now scouting obviously oh and look at Hassan he's he's trying to trap that scout and he's trapping the scout oh, oh my god he's trapped man look at Hassan fast fast he he trapped 
Chris Scout. Great play, man. Great play. Really? Look, look at look at Chris. Look, sorry, look at look at Hassan even with the fatty teasing teasing his scout even. What's the plan here, man? Anyway, he will try to go out but losing time. Nice. Chris is up to castle age. Like we said, Hassan will follow in like 20 seconds. Uh, the first town center outside for Chris, close to the gold and the forest, but he doesn't have enough for a third town center, not yet at least. Going a few pruned arches, obviously. We have now uh, Hassan up as well, and Hassan building one, one, also one town center and a few plumed archers. Yep. Yeah. He will try to, to kill. Well, he will kill, not only try. He will kill uh, Chris Scout, that's for sure. He won't be able to, to run away forever. And it's down. Okay. So let's see how much actually uh, Chris scouted. Well, not too much, to be honest. He can see only one relic. That is in case, of course, the game goes really longer and they will need that one. He scouted like 50% of the map, something like this, while Hassan around 70%. Hassan can see three relics. Three relics. It didn't, it didn't pay off for Chris at all, though, did it? Going up no. a lot faster than Hassan. Hassan no. has got it with a lot more resource and... But I, s I, well, not because I said. I was also asking, what's the plan? Why to go uh. like super fast? Because I said usually in this one, uh, you you see players going for three town centers as fast as possible and, and start the mini boom. Okay, Chris now has three town centers. Hassan with two still, but uh, I assume he goes more army. Oh, look at the the plumed archers fight. Regarding the units, let's see, 10 plumed archers for Hassan, 10 for Chris. So Chris, though we, with three town centers, and yeah, 10 plumed archers, more man. Both players with fletching, oh, nice snipe from, from Chris though, killing one plumed archers, oh, but now losing one. Villagers, yeah, Chris soon will will increase the difference. The difference we will have a better economy because of that. Let's yeah, Hassan seems to be seems to be staying on two TCs, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Chris housed at fifty-five. Pop fifty-four. Hassan, and still, like you said, two town centers. He doesn't even bother to. I mean, bother. Yeah, he's going army, 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 non-stop and only two town centers. Oh, that's risky in this though, isn't it? It is. Because it's so, it is. such an easy map to protect yourself on. True. That's why even Chris. more, I was surprised of Chris going like very Faster. fast up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Chris is showing behind on the scores at the moment, but that's not gonna last long. No, it will change, it will change. Yeah, he's, he's gonna outboom the sand, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Both pairs 16. Sands, plus two though. Yeah. Chris is still. Oh, he's running straight away. And he has an outside siege workshop. Chris. Soon. Yeah, he will make a manganel. And the same amount of army. So it will be well, even a big harder for. I mean, more difficult for Hassan to, to micro against both manganel and Pundaj. But still. Ooh, 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 sniping one villager, nice one. And still two town centers only. Oh, <laughs> coming pop, forward pop. with a villager, nice. Siege workshop as well. Populations the same. Population? No, no, it's not the same. 69 for Hassan, 67 for Chris. But the villagers, look at villagers. Ooh, well, what happened? Chris stopped villagers. 49, 48 now. He had. 
Like four. Four more. Not any more. Only one. One difference. That means... Oh, here comes the Manganel. Has more army. The Manganel is coming. And let's see. Ooh. Hassan saw it and going back with the plume dart just a little bit to have the heal advantage. Looks 74 like they're gonna dance, yeah. dance for a while with those plumes, doesn't it? They will. Oh, Hassan just lost his scout as well. Okay, again going with the plume. What? It looks like Hassan has way more. Well, way more. More plume darches now, man. And we're gonna see 26 plume darches for Hassan and 21. 21. Yeah, so Light he has ball. more. And still with only one, I mean, only uh, still with one manganel. I don't see him making another one or another town center. Yeah, Chris has gone for the extra manganel as well. Yeah, he has two now, two against one. So I'm assuming they're going to engage soon. They both got manganels now. Oh, 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 oh the manganel for Hassan is coming in. Oh, nice shot, manganel. Nice shot. Oh. And the, the second one. Second. Look at oh. this. Oh my god. Great, great play. Great play by Hassan. Super fast, but man. He much lost only to both shots. Yeah, he lost only one plume darcher and destroyed two manganels. And Lots his manganels plumes. still. Uh, two, Lots yeah. of the plumes are weak, mate. Oh. And a nice shot. And then, 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 look no, at And another shot. And oh. Just went to, to, to deliver oh, another off. shot. I paid off for the sand, though. Definitely it. It did. Whoa, super fast, super fast micro, man. Ay, 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 another mangler coming out for this. Chris trying to, to use the stand ground attack. Oh, and another castle. Great one, really, really great one for, for Chris to protect that gold, the wood. And the other gold not far away on the right side. University for Chris. 88 population. 89.93 for Hassan. Another castle also. A forward. Not completely on the hill but close to that hill. 94 pop and gathering the resources to go up man. Still with two town centers for him. Oh! And the Manganel now fire. Look at him also using the villager oh, too. Oh, he lost he... on this one. Yeah. And oh, now another and shot. Ay, ay, ay. And Chris still with one Manganel. The villagers are able to finish that, that castle. Let's see because Chris is there trying to snipe down the villagers. And boom! The Manganel, come on! <laughs> who's, Man gonna, who's gonna make it? But look at Chris trying to snipe specifically the the villagers, but still that castle will be up, man. And check Hassan's resources. 1000 food and nine. So once this castle yeah, will be up uh, even before, yeah, he's on the way to Imp already. Chris is 11 pop in front now 86 though. pop, but far from Imp, man. Far from Imp. He has less than 200 food. Now 200 food, Chris. So, poo. And, and also, also the military. Yeah, go. Yeah, Hassan finally dropping more TCs. Now he's dropped another 2 luck on the gold spots. Oh, okay. Which he needed to do. Yeah, I agree. Another mangonel, another mangonel coming from Chris. But why you go away with the plume darches? With the military, seems that uh, he has a lot more. Of, Hassan. A lot of Hassan's plumes are really almost dead, though. Look at him. So he has to be really careful. It might look like he's got a lot of army, but a lot of them are one shots. Yeah, well, a lot of them. Like. I don't think even half, but I agree. Yeah, 50% are all red. Look at Chris trying to go in. Okay, like you said, good thing. Hassan now adding two more town centers at the gold. Chris still nowhere near clicking up, is he? He's, a, he's like a thousand food short. But I see only, seriously, only one siege workshop for him. The same for Chris. The only oh, but now Chris, nice snipe with the with the mangonel, but now lost it because of the castle. At oh. least now he can see what's there. 
they had a fight outside the sand's walls as well. The mangonel killed I quite see a few balloons. I see, I see, and another mangonel coming from Hassan lost another one. Oh, well, Chris, Chris got out micro on the first mangonel war, but Hassan's been out micro on the next three. Yeah. I wonder if he'll go trebuchets. He's bound to go trebuchets, yeah. Yeah, trebs, trebs, and from the. Inside of the of his walls, castle still doing plume darches, and soon he will have enough stone for a third castle. Uh, look at Chris adding more siege workshops. I was about to say, don't you want also to add more siege workshops? We, we, we've seen a lot of times how important the rams are in this type of fight of yeah. fights. Look at Hassan though going forward with the castle, so aggressive, no protection. but it's, it's no a good protection. one exactly. It's so risky. Chris needs to move the mangonel up. He can move the mangonel up and kill everything there. And he is now. He is now. Oh! He has to go back with the villagers. And look at Chris even oh, doing another. San, oh, but he Hassan lost it. shot the man with the plumes. Yep. This is looking better for Hassan. No, this is not looking good for Hassan losing the villagers, forward villagers. But I agree. Uh, I mean, yeah, he can destroy at least one, one of Chris' castles, but now... Chris still hasn't clicked up. He's not far away, about a minute he'll click up. No, he's still far, man. He still needs more time. Anyway, he took out most of, most of Hassan's army and... Oh, he lost also and the villager. Yeah, yeah. That was sloppy then, son. But now he has chemistry, man. Chemistry plus four for the yeah, plume darches, so much not stronger. Many left. Yeah, but uh, does Chris doesn't have. Eight? Yeah, Chris doesn't have uh, uh, too many either. Right, and that castle's got to go up now. Is that? He's, he's putting all in. Look, look at all the villagers going for that castle. Exactly. Two mangs, two mangs coming in for Chris. Three even. Three oh, and more plume darches. Go the mangonels are there. Oh my oh, wow. god. 88% the castle and Hassan stubborn man why you sacrifice the wills again Lucy, look at the population drop 30 more now almost for for Chris why like Hassan this Hassan finally getting more mangonels out <coughs> hello superman but relax Kasuni relax Oh Which man, relax. why you sacrifice it again, sending two villagers to try and finish the castle? The castle sits with 92% and finally finishing! And Chris just clicked up now, okay? Poor well, Sam needs those traps up quick, doesn't he? Yep. Look at the pop difference, man, it's huge, really. I mean, huge, but he lost so many villagers. If we count the villagers, 73 villagers for Hassan, 102 for Chris. Almost 30 more, man. But still, okay, Hassan, more trebs, man. He has he needs. great he needs amount of gold. Trebs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. Now that he's got a castle there to protect. Oh! But the but the mango, come on, man! How he can be so fast with with micro and crazy, really? Well, and he lost he lost more than the micro mangonels than what Chris did. I thought he's one two to Chris four. Well, I I think when he's not like looking specifically for that one fight, uh, yeah, well, he, he's losing probably. Man, the... we can we can hear your keyboard banging away, mate. <laughs> yeah, probably the you know that multitasking, but. Uh, if if he's focusing on that fight, I think he's faster than Chris, man, in microing, and he's destroying one of one of Chris' castles as expected. He has three castles forward, building Chris. another one. Chris got a load of rams to come out soon. Is he? Loads. I don't know if there'll be enough though. Yeah. Oh, sniping one for one, and there he is now up to Imperial Age, only two castles left, and let's see if he's gonna make another one, not enough stone for Chris to build a third castle, so Hassan will have four castles against two for Chris, and also elite plume archers against plume archers, but like you said, rams man, rams can change a fight, anyway, he lost 
that town center outside and he's kind of running out of gold spots don't you think yeah he's only really on that back gold spot now probably isn't he yeah only the 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 back one and coming out with coming out with the rams while a 55 percent capped ram upgrade hassan got two manganels sat behind but they are only manganels yeah they are only he's research, manganels he's researching on it i know 30 he'll, pro he'll probably save, save that castle Oh, 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 look at Chris going forward with the Prune Darches and he might even destroy the Siege Workshop before those will be onagers, man, that's crazy, yeah, he destroyed oh, he it. Oh, he did. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. This can, this can, yeah, can change the game. Well, still uh, quite I a lot know. of, uh, quite I a think lot of rams. Keep it up. Yeah? He's using the trebuchets now to kill the rams as well. I think you'll just about keep it up. Oh man, using the traps to to destroy the capped ramps. That's crazy. And he's still coming with another with another mangonel. He's saving man. He's I saving these castles. Crazy. Hassan, good thing for Hassan as well. He's on two extra gold piles outside with TCs. So his yeah. gold is still really coming in. And he has now more, way more pumped arches. Thanks to the four castles, obviously. That, that it, that it feels to me though, like Chris played. Chris has played sort of smarter, and the San has just played like almost all in. Yeah. I don't know. But look at Hassan. When I mean, even even oh, if, even, no, even with Chris using the the rams, look at the micro for Hassan, man. He's he was just sniping only the Prune Darches and the villagers, man. Most of the time. That's crazy. And another castle, but not like this with so many rams around it no this is risky man he might uh, lose that castle oh he deleted, why he deleted he got the stone back yeah but why like even even why like this man oh big hits coming in. oh he took him out quick yeah Just had a couple a of big of... hits on the plumes then yeah. a lot of almost dead plumed archers there Another castle for Chris on the hill, and obviously another castle for Hassan to to also uh, deny Chris going for that gold. And look at Chris, man, going that's, that's now with elite be, skirmishers now. Nah. Yeah, that'll be the big change for Hassan. Now he's completely dominated Chris's two gold in the front. I agree. Whoa! Nah, Chris can't come back from this now. Unless Hassan doing like huge mistakes, but I doubt it, man. Look at this, that castle will be up, the elite prune archers are yeah, killing pretty much everything. So Chris has three castles, uh, while Hassan has five. Yeah, but Chris and is out of struggle gold. for gold, yeah, exactly. he's struggle. struggle for gold anyway. This is why he switched to a load more skirms. And, and the, the onagers, easy kill, easy kill against the skirmishers and how you can stop now the the four trebs uh, taking down the other buildings also another castle even though Chris sent the villagers to yeah to repair that one you have four trebs hitting your castle that won't stay forever up no whoa look at this man and bringing more and more onagers destroying the the capped rams still a lot of onagers hitting the elite skirmishers he will destroy that that, that castle eventually Chris still trying Chris still trying most of the trebs are not hitting the castle though are they they're all shooting at different things yeah true true is only, only one hitting the castle three now But look at this push, man. Chris is just open, opening his base, and the it's castle is down. And the GG called by Chris, man. The first game won by 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 Hassan, with well, what we what appeared for us like a weird right strategy with only two town centers uh, until late, really late Imperial when he added those two more to the gold. 
and yeah, increasing uh, his economy. Great game, great first game, man. Okay, achievements. Let's change the score. 1-0 for Hassan, and I was saying that yeah, he's not playing too much other maps except Arabia. Well, we have seen his true his true power. Ho ho! Units killed. Pooh, look at look at the difference. Huge, and also largest army, 61 against 40. Economy except gold stone, uh, better for for Hassan. Food and wood, better for for Chris, much better though. But still, yeah, Hassan going more aggressive. Paid off for him. Well done. And imperial imperial uh, difference was really big. 27, 22. Hassan 35, 23. So eight minutes, man. Eight minutes. Imperial against castle time was just too much for Chris to hold.